Hey, welcome back to Copperhead Customs and welcome to a new episode. Today we're doing something on the 28th, Oakland, but we're not actually doing any metal work. What are we doing? Well, today we're going to have a look at this big stinking Ford V8 and we are going to determine whether it's a 302 Cleveland or a 351 Cleveland. So bear with me and I'll show you how. Reaper. Okay, so. I was told that this motor was a 302 Cleveland with the FMX automatic. But one of my subscribers and good friends from America, he has a channel too. Shout out to him, Sean Fat Tire Guy Thomas. So he has said that looking at this, now I don't know in America if they have the 302 Clevelands, but he has said looking at the intake manifold, that that's a four barrel intake manifold, which is normally on the 351s. And we have a two barrel carby, but he said he noticed this, that this has got an adapter plate on it, which kind of makes a little bit of sense, yeah? So he is leaning towards this as a 351. And he's been asking me to check. And well, basically I didn't really know how to check other than trying to find the numbers, which I'm not a Ford person, guys. So if you Ford guys are out there who know, Probably can tell me from the numbers what it is, but I do not know Fords in any way, shape, or form. Okay, this is probably one of the first Ford V8s I've owned. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, as you can see, I already got my tools out. I'm going to pull number one spark plug out, and I'm going to get that up at top dead center by sticking a screwdriver or something in there something along those lines then i'm going to crank hand crank that motor over and get that all the way down that piston all the way down and i'm going to measure it with the screwdriver pretty simple say eh? so what i've worked out is or what i've read and researched is a 302 has a three inch stroke which if you don't know what that means means from the top where the piston is at the top to the where the piston is at the bottom it's a three inch stroke that's your stroke so apparently a 302 has a three inch stroke and a 351 has a 3.5, so a three and a half inch stroke. So that's what we'll do. We'll pull the plug, we'll measure it, and we'll see what we have. Do we have the 351? I don't reckon we do, but it would be nice. A repa. Okay, so that was pretty simple. So how it works apparently is uh, that a 302 will be a three inch stroke, a 351 will be a 3.5 inch stroke. I think a three, what is it? Is there a 383 or something? There's a three, three something, 380 something. Will be a 3.75 inch stroke. I think there's a 400 small block as well. That will be a four inch stroke. So uh i don't know that's just how it seems to work apparently and well what did we end up with well here's our marks this is what this is how i did it i just put a bit of tape basically i don't know if you've seen all that but i just stuck a bit of tape where the screwdriver was touching the rocker cover basically when it was at the top cranked it over till it went all the way to the bottom put another piece of tape there now we'll measure the tape, so we'll go from the bottom of the tape to the bottom of the tape, and three inches, which means we have a 302. So yeah, it wasn't a big bad 351 we were hoping for, but I'm not saying it's a bad motor, there's nothing wrong with a little 302, especially in this little jigger, it's going to do the job quite well, um, you know. Honestly, if I want to really go fast, I'll go get in one of my Mercedes's. <laughs> one of our sports cars. Uh, this would be a very good motor for this. A nice little cruiser. Have a little bit of mumbo. We'll do what we want it to do. 
So there is a quick and simple way of determining what you have without digging through the numbers, finding the numbers, researching all the forums to try to decipher the numbers on them and so forth. So what do we have to do with this motor to get it running? Basically, we're going to give it a clean. I think this is, this is meant to be a very good runner. Cranks, it, 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 it turns over beautifully. We're going to pull this carby off though and have a look because I don't know if everything's right there because I don't think I could get the... That's the choke, obviously. I don't think I could get the uh, throttle working wherever it is. Where is it? It might be on the other side. I don't think I could get the uh, get it operating. I think it was jamming up or something. Oh, a little look ski here. See, that's the kick down, is that? I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'll get rid of that. See, it seems to... It's, it's fouling on something. I don't want to force it. To me, I think it's fouling on that base plate. But So we're going to pull that apart and have a look at it. We may get rid of the two-barrel. I don't know if we just stick a four-barrel holly on it or what we do. But other than that, the motor's meant to be good. So basically, we've got to get plugs. Uh, we'll put new plugs in it. We'll put new leads on it. Um, we've got to plumb it all up. Uh, we'll give it an oil change. And throw some fuel down there. And we'll get it to fire a bit soon. I don't know how soon we'll do that, but we'll do that reasonably soon. Um, yeah, we'll do plugs, points leads we need a coil and um we'll do a bit of wiring we'll jerry rig it and get it see if we can get it to fire then we've got the power steering pump over there which we're gonna have to hook up into this jag front end so we're gonna have to get some power steering lines made um we're gonna have to get uh look at something for the front there whether we we probably won't run an external fan we'll probably just run thermos so I don't think we really have to put anything on there uh, other than our pulley, of course, to get our water pump to move. So we need to get a pulley for that to hook up on our belt. And this could have aircon if we want, but hey, it's a freaking convertible. What do you want aircon for? So yeah, uh, we may even look at changing this big monstrosity. I'm not sure. And we'll give it an oil change. So that's about it for the motor. That's all we're going to do. And we'll give it a coat of paint eventually. But that has to come out of the car, so whether we get it to fire first or not, uh, I'm not really overly bothered because the bloke I bought the car off uh, was very nice and he said this is a good runner. So I'll take his word for that because I actually trust trust him on that one because he was a very nice person. He wasn't a scammer. Uh, so that's it for this episode. It was just a short, sharp, shiny trying to show you i wanted to check for myself i had a mate in america wanted me to check it and i just thought i'd quite pump out a quick video because i didn't know you could actually check it that way and that's what we've come up with so yeah stay tuned because today for me probably tomorrow for you or the next day we're going to get back on to doing the fabrication on the rear and we're going to make some more panels so let's get into it reaper thanks for watching See you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Reaper.